Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find the value of this line integral with the help of Green's theorem. So for that, we should write the Green's theorem first and I have already written here, this is statement of Green's theorem. In our previous videos also, we have already seen its statement. So let us use this theorem to find the value of this integral. But see, the problem is that in this example, they have not given the problem directly. They have not given the line integral directly. We have to find it first. Then we will apply Green's theorem and then we will find the answer. Okay. So let us consider, let us consider what we have integration of f over c. Actually integration of f over c that means dot dr is there obviously and integration over c. It's a closed curve c. f. What is the f we have? x square minus 2xy comma x square y plus 3. So this is our f. Get it? So you can write the same thing in terms of i and z also. This first term into i plus second term into z. Okay. Or in terms of bracket also you can write. So dr bar also I will write in the same way. That is dx comma dy. So there is a dot product. So you know well how to take a dot product first component into first component plus second component into second component. So let me do that. So x square minus 2xy dx plus second component, which is x square y plus 3 dy, right? So I wrote the given line integral in its standard form. So now it is very easy to compare the left hand side of Green's theorem and this integral. Multiple of dx is p and multiple of dx is this bracket. So what is our p? Let me write here. So our p, okay, our p, I will write it here. Our p is here. Our p is multiple of dx, which is x square minus 2xy and q. q means what? Q is a multiple of dy and what is multiple of dy? The second bracket. So this is our Q. X square y plus 3. Okay. So now to you uh, uh, use Green's theorem, we should find derivative of P with respect to Y first and we have to find derivative of Q with respect to X. So let us find both partial derivatives. Then what we want first? Derivative of P with respect to Y. So as you can see here, there is a minus sign. If you have plus sign or minus sign, we take a separate derivatives. Here also I will do the same. First of all, we will find the derivative of x square, but we are finding derivative with respect to y. So x square is a constant and derivative of constant is zero. So that's why we'll have zero minus. So when you take its derivative with respect to y, that 2x is a constant will come outside. So 2x will come outside and simply we have to take derivative of y only. As you know, derivative of y with respect to y is 1. So here, here we will have 1 into minus 2x. So that means minus 2x. So let us find the second derivative. Daba q by daba x. We want daba q by daba x. Derivative of q with respect to x. Okay. So as you can see, addition is there. We can take separate, separate derivatives. Let us find derivative of the first term. So y is a constant will come outside since we are finding derivative with respect to x. So derivative of x square only and c3 is a constant. So that's why its derivative will be 0. 0. What is derivative of x square? It is 2x. So that 2x into this y so will have 2xy. So in this way, we got the values of both partial derivatives. Okay. So simply I will, uh, what will I do? I will put those values here. Then by Green's theorem, then by Green's theorem, uh, I'm writing this one integration over C a bar dot dr bar. Already we have got this one, okay, which is nothing but this p dx plus q dy, right? So this is p and this is q. Now I'm applying Green's theorem. That means I'm going to write that is nothing but that is nothing but double integration over R. I should write daba q by daba x first. What is my daba q by daba x? It is 2xy. So 2xy. There is minus sign between them. Minus daba p by daba y. What is my daba p by daba y? It is minus 2x. But see already there is minus sign. So minus minus plus and we have 2x. And obviously after that we have dx dy, right? dx dy. So this is equal to double integration over r. 
see what can we do we can take two common we can take x also common so if you take 2x common we we'll have in bracket y plus 1 dx dy so now we have to solve this double integration but for solving it we need to have its limits okay so for that we should consider the region what they have mentioned here but see there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so they have mentioned here region r is bounded by let me write here so here r is bounded by r is bounded by what have they mentioned y square is equal to 8x and x is equal to 2. So here y square it is equal to 8x, right? So the power of x is 1, power of y is 2. So when we have equation like this, power of one variable is 1 and the power of second variable is 2, it means it represents a parabola. So this is a parabola we have and the power of x is 1. That's why the parabola is symmetric about positive x axis. So let me write here a parabola parabola symmetric about symmetric about positive x-axis okay so the parabola is symmetric about positive x-axis let me show it here so our parabola will be like this okay i'm drawing a rough sketch of it so the parabola will be like this okay so with this type of parabola we have let me write here its equation is uh, yes y square is equal to 8x okay so let us go further x is equal to 2 this is a very simple equation x is equal to 2 represents a line parallel to y axis passes through x is equal to 2 so simply i will mention a line so this is a line we have okay line parallel to what y axis this is our y axis this is x axis and passes through x is equal to 2 so that means this line will be like this okay so the region is bounded by that line and this parabola so its equation is x is equal to 2 and equation of this parabola I already mentioned here, but let me write it here again, y square is equal to 8x. So we are interested to find the points of intersection. Do you remember how to find points of intersection? The technique is very simple. We put one equation in second equation and we easily get the point of intersection, right? So x is equal to 2, that means its x coordinate will be 2 obviously, since these two points lie on that line, so the x coordinate will be same 2, 2. We are interested to find the y coordinate. That means simply point of intersection. W what I said, simply we have to put one equation in this one. So simply put x is equal to 2 here. So 8 into 2, 16. y square is equal to 16. That means y is either plus 4 or minus 4. Get it? So this point will be 4 and here it will be minus 4. I hope you are getting. Okay, I am writing it again. If I put x is equal to 2 here, we will have y square is equal to 8 into 2. That means 16. So y square is 16. That means y is equal to plus minus 4. So that's why I wrote here plus 4 and here minus 4. So in this way, we got the points of intersection. Okay. So this region we have. Let me show here this region we have. So to find the limits, we have to consider a strip. We have two options, either we can consider a strip parallel to y axis or parallel to x axis. I think it is better to consider a strip parallel to x axis, easily we will have the answer. So that's why I'm considering a strip parallel to x axis. So let me mention here, consider a strip, consider a strip parallel to x axis. So as you know, when we consider a strip parallel to x axis, we always write x varies from. We always write first x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to and our second sentence is y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to. In previous unit, in those videos we have already seen. See, we have a strip like this, right? Strip like this parallel to x axis. So our funda is very simple, bounded below bounded above and we move strip from bottom to top we move strip from bottom to top okay so what we i will do the same the strip is bounded below that means by this one bounded below by y square is equal to 8x so x is equal to y square by 8 see i have already written x here so that's why i should write x is equal to we have an equation y square is equal to 8x but x is equal to y square by 8 Strip is bounded above. Our strip is like this, bounded below by this parabola, bounded above by this line, whose equation is x is equal to 2. Very simple. Getting? So now we have to move strip from bottom to top. 
so the target of the strip is to cover the entire region getting we it has to cover the entire region so the strip should start at this point okay and it should move like this and it should go up to this point so here the value of y is minus 4 so i should write y is minus 4 and strip will slowly move like this and it will go up to this point where the value of y is 4 so in this way we got the limits okay so yes we had uh, yeah, we were here. So let us continue. Then integration over C a bar dot dr bar is equal to double integration 2x y plus 1. I should write dx dy. Okay, I should write dx dy since we have considered a strip parallel to x axis. So that's why the inner, inner integration with respect to x and the outer integration with respect to y. So the x having limits y square by 8 to 2 and limits of y minus 4 to 4 okay so now we have to find the value of this uh, double we have to solve this double integration no? but there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so let, let us find the value of inner integral first okay so this is equal to minus 4 to 4 see that 2 is a constant so we can take it outside directly 2 y plus 2 y plus 1 is also constant since we are integrating with respect to x so that y plus 1 also will come outside y plus 1 it came outside so now only x is left inside the inner integration so integration of x is x square by 2 so let me write here it is x square by 2 with limits what are the limits we have y square by 8 and upper limit is 2 and we have dy okay so what will happen that 1 by 2 is constant it will come directly outside the integration but that 2 is already waiting for it so 2 and 1 by 2 will get cancelled to each other and we will have integration minus 4 to 4 y plus 1 and simply we have x square y square by 8 to 2 dy see i am going to put upper limit lower limit here okay y plus 1 I am putting upper limit 2. So if you put 2 here, we will have 4. And if you put lower limit at a place of x, so we have to take it square. If you take it square, it will be square of y square is y raised to 4 and square of 8 is 64 dy. So now we have to solve this integration. Okay. So it is better to solve the brackets. Uh, we, the, in schools, we have already seen how to solve this bracket that first into first like that 4y plus 4 and one, yeah after that y into this one so minus y raised to 5 by 64 and minus y raised to 4 by 64 dy okay so we have to solve this integration now see make a screenshot of it then i will go further so now let us solve this integration okay see uh, did you notice one thing so limits we have minus 4 to 4 okay so there is one standard result let me mention here if we have the integration like this minus a to a f okay f is any function so if the f is even function we write here 2 0 to a f f is even f is even if the function is even we do this and if it is odd we directly write the value of integration is 0 right so let us use this result so we can easily solve this problem okay so let me write first so therefore integration over c f bar dot dr bar this integral we were solving okay so addition subtraction is there so you can take separate separate integrations right uh, see 4y so y has a power 1 so it's an odd function getting when you have odd function value of integral will be 0 so no need to consider that one it will be 0 getting uh, or uh, what will i do i will write separately so you can easily understand minus 4 to 4 4 y dy okay i'm writing separately so you can easily understand minus 4 to 4 4 dy minus integration minus 4 to 4 y raised to 5 by 64 dy minus integration minus 4 to 4 y raised to 4 by 64 dy so now uh, now i'm applying that result so y has power 1 so it's an odd function when you have any odd function the value of integration is 0 so the value of first integral is 0 by using that result okay if you solve it then also finally you will have the value 0 so for saving our time 
I am directly using that result. Okay. So here uh, there is no any function for so will come outside for will come outside and integration of device y with limits minus 4 to 4. Will you tell me about this? What can we do? What is the power of y? 5 which is an odd number. So that's why the function is odd again and the value of integration is 0 minus here 64. Let me take 64 outside 1 by 64. Y raised to 4, Y raised to 4 is an even number. Getting 4 is an even number, so it's an even function. So when we have even function, what we do? We simply write 2 outside and we write the limits 0 to 4, Y raised to 4, dy. Okay, so I use that result, so easily I could write it. So 4, let us simplify it further. So 4 minus, I'm putting lower limit. So minus 4, okay, minus 2 to cancel 1 by 32. Integration of y raised to 4 is y raised to 5 by 5 with limits 0 to 4. So this is equal to 4 into, see this minus minus plus, 4 plus 4, what will you have? 8, okay, minus 1 by 32 into, I am putting the upper limit, so 4 raised to 5, 4 raised to 5, that means, uh, 4 raised to 5, that means, uh, see it will be uh, 4 into 5. 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 divided by 5. So it will be 32. But see 4 into 4 16 and it will get cancelled with this 32. So this 16 will get cancelled and one more 2. So yes, all 32 will get cancelled with this one. So 16 32 by 5 minus 32 by 5. What can we do? We can take 32 common. So 1 minus 1 by 5. We can easily do it. Right? So 32 into, so if you cross multiply, you will have 4 by 5. So the final answer is 8, 120. So 128 by 5, this is a required answer. Okay, make a screenshot of it. Then I will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.